All right, today's video, we're going to use our brads and eyelets, mainly the eyelets, and we're going to make a mini tag journal along the lines of an ATC card journal. So it measures three by four inches, and it has a front cover and a back cover, and then the pages are in the middle. So I'm going to be using this more of like a gratitude journal or a daily um, inspirational scripture journal and keep this with me and be able to take it with me once I have it completed and then put it in my purse and keep it with me or by my desk, wherever I am is going to be there. And then during the day, if I ever need some encouragement or just a pick me up or a reminder, then I will pick it up and then I'll be able to turn the, through the pages and read my things I'm grateful for and my scriptures that are ones that are my favorite. <clears throat> so the front cover was made from the front of a 12 by 12 paper pad and the Prima paper and it was fruit paradise and so I just utilized the cover <clears throat> and then the back was this really nice white so I said that is perfect and then the back cover was the back of the paper pad so it had the nice white on the back and then the normal whatever this color is gray um, on the inside and then now I have 11 pages so this was one of the pages in the pack and it was already these little size uh, tags or ATC and if I wanted to make it a tag book then all I need to do is just trim the corners of each one of these and then you have a tag book but if you just want it to be a little journal book then you just leave it like that um, I am going to just round the corners of all this I thought that would be a great way so welcome to my channel. This is Marcia from Markets of Sunshine. Thank you for being here with me today. And so let's get started and let me show you what you're going to need to make this cute little tag book journal. All right, so you will need your crocodile, a hole puncher, eyelet setter tool. You will need some eyelets. You will need these um, open rings i don't really know what they're called exactly um some kind of a jump ring thing i don't know but anyway it's not a split ring that was the type like for a key ring that's not that the jump ring for jewelry making you open it with a tool so i really can't remember what this is called but anyway so it closes like this <clears throat> And snaps into place and then you have to put pressure push them apart and then you open it okay and that has a little hinge part here and this one is oh, let's see about an inch so this is you can get them in different sizes I have them in a big three inch size and then this size I think they make them smaller than this and then you'll need your card stock you want to make sure you're using card stock if you want the cover to be a little heavier you could use a chipboard which is more along the lines of what this is and then this is the card stock so this is more pliable where this is a little bit thicker than the actual paper so i've already gone ahead punched all the holes set all the eyelets and what i did is i just took the cover knowing that it was three inches across and so then I just decided I was going to punch a hole at the one inch mark and at the two inch mark. And that would evenly space it out from the two sides and then between in the middle. And then I just used the cover as my template and put each page behind it and went ahead and just held it and then punched the hole with my hole puncher. So I did that for all 
of the pages. And now all we need to do is have our two little rings open, like so. And we're going to turn our stack upside down. And you want the, the smooth side of the eyelet to be um, facing you and go into the hole. And it takes a little bit of coordination. So eye hand coordination is very good for our brain health. So for the month of April, in addition to having the challenge of using our brads and eyelets, I'm also going to be sharing with you some little tidbits of how our crafting is actually highly beneficial for our brain health. And eye-hand coordination is something that is um, very important as we age. So even in if you're a younger person, I'm in my late 50s. Um, so as we age, continuing to keep our brains active is highly important. And so crafting, lo and behold, is one of those eye-hand coordination skills that you need in order to keep the brain happy and healthy. So it's not just learning a new language. It's not just doing crossword puzzles. So any eye-hand coordination, crocheting, knitting, hand stitching, even sewing on the sewing machine, anything that takes eye-hand coordination is doing your brain a whole lot of good and it keeps the brain active and happy and healthy and it helps our brains and helps us to ward off many many diseases that come with aging so i thought i would just share that with you and that is found on the um, website i believe it's brain md dr amen he was on pbs and uh, I don't know if he's here in Florida where I'm at, but um, okay, now I, now this is tricky. I'm trying to, <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, this one, sometimes, see, this one is very loose, whereas the other one is very stiff. So now the fun, tricky part comes into play. So I want to try to bend this one. Ah, boy, is it stuck. There we go. Okay. Now we want to pick them back up, move them back around. So the thick part back here doesn't go through the eyelet hole. So I'm going to have to mash this a little bit. Hopefully it won't pinch my finger. Okay, there. Did you hear? I don't know if you heard that little as it locked into place. There we go. Okay, so now we have our little book made it's in place now as we use it just start opening it turning the pages now these ones that have a busy pattern i'm going to just come in and this one here and i'm just going to take a little piece of craft paper and glue it over the top but these here are perfectly fine that i can just write right on top of that with no problem and then on this side i'm just going to write the gratitude or the scripture or whatever I'm going to do for that day. And then on the back is where I will write in whatever it is I want to write. So let me show you real quick how to do that. So I just take this one and a scrap piece of your craft paper. And I like to use the kids craft paper. I've mentioned that before. And I'm not going to worry about placing it over the eyelets. I'm just going to glue it right onto the page here. So I have two of these that were I'm going to make. So I'm going to just use this other one that has not already been put into the book. And I will use it as my template. Okay. Trim a little 
little bit more off of the bottom. Just going to hold it up to the paper. I like to still have something as a guide. And that keeps my cutting straighter. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Now we just need a little wee bit off of this edge. Perfect. Okay, now to glue that into place, I'm going to just use my Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. I like, like, I like this very much. Okay, so I will put it on the paper. I'm going to do it on the four sides. And they recommend with this particular glue stick is to go over the area twice. That's quick and easy, and what you notice is you see how you can see the image through the paper, so it's thin enough, and so that gives you that really pretty, I like that look. So the same thing with this one, and the one thing you have to remember and to know about these glue sticks, keep the lid on it because they will dry out very fast. Okay, so now I know I need, let's see. Yeah, so I have to take into consideration the top, the eyelet, so we're going to come down here, and I'm going to come over a little bit like that. So this is how quick and easy it is to make a little booklet using your eyelets. need to trim a little bit off the bottom. And you can do this something similar with uh, brads, but you won't be able to put quite as many pages. It depends on the length of the prongs of the brad. There you go. Isn't that cute? So now I have this adorable little tablet, notebook, gratitude journal, scripture, book, <laughs> whatever you want it to be. And then turn the pages, and now I can write onto this. Just turn it around like this, and when I'm writing on it. So quick and easy little project, using your eyelets, getting some of these little rings. I ordered them off of Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a, just a quick, simple project, and that's what we want. We don't need to be bogged down in the craft room for hours working on projects. So quick and easy things, and this is a fun little gift. This could be given as a happy mail gift, and just to cheer someone up, a little get well gift. So there's lots of uh, ways to use it and to give it to someone. Use it yourself. And now I will just take my corner rounder. I probably will have to take them back off of here, but I just wanted to show you that. The bottom I can round no problem, but the top I'm probably going to have to take them off of the ring to do that. But at any rate, so if you enjoyed this video, if it's inspired you and helped to unlock your creativity, then please click the like button so other people can find it and subscribe if you're not already a part of this creative community and thank you so much for being here with me today i really appreciate it and leave me a comment and let me know what you liked about the video 
and if you're going to give it a try. And stay safe, keep creating in the sunshine, and I will see you for the next 10-minute tip video coming up this week. Bye-bye.